pretty love to the city. Drink your cup, hold my wine, I'ma hold you with me. You look good, you look fine, you got all them colors. So high upon the clouds, I don't see no color. Pretend that I haven't lost a time In the end The nostalgia though it tastes fine I can only drink a couple cause it feels like a lie We play Halo And we lay low In our basement until the sun began to rise Hello yeah. <laughs> Hello Um, are we going? I don't know what's going on. Why don't you do it? Yeah, we are. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Okay, I think I'm I'm seeing something delayed on my stream. Hello everyone. I'm not seeing what's going on, but welcome to Mini RPG of the Week. Um my name is 16th Tower. I am joined this week by OC. Hello. <laughs> stream whatsoever. I'm not gonna see any lag shit at all. Mini RPG of the week, we are back. Season 3, episode 19. We are coming close. No, season... Is it season 4, episode 19? It's season 4, episode 19. There's nothing going wrong this episode, guys. It's season 4, episode 19. Um, we're coming close to the end of season 4. And with the end of season 4, we are also going to be seeing the advent of Mini RPG of the week ultimate. That is our LAN event that we are going to be having uh, in France. Um, it's going to be a big thing. It's going to be in Compound France. Tickets are available now. Check out the Mini RPG of the Week Twitter page. Um, and, you know, first place, there is going to be a grand prize of a thousand euro to be won. Um, but, you know, enough about that. That is in the future. Let's talk about what we've got coming up in the present of Mini RPG of the Week. We've got a great map tonight. OC, do you want to tell people a little bit about it? We have Block Cruise by Dobry which is, as the mapper has said himself, a dense and precise map. But 
you know, he's a nice guy, Dobry. He said, "Good luck, have fun," in his in his little one sentence summary. So he did. I like that. that. Yeah. Uh, he said it's basically a little city, an industrial area is there, there's a city centre with a skyscraper, suburban type area, so you're, no, you're just out with the bros on a night, cruising around, chilling, you know, it sounds, sounds, like, a, sounds like a pretty nice map. Um, yeah. He said the map is kind of trickless apart from a bug start, so it's more about getting nice landings, keeping your speed and just having a general good line through the sections, you know, don't whiff the precision as I do when I'm playing. Um, there's a series of problems that the map could cause for people. Um, there's some pipes that people might hit. Uh, there is, and there is a, it is a bit blind. Now, that should be fine because they have time to warm up into it. So hopefully there'll be no issues with uh, people forgetting the route or forgetting where to go. Um, the times they'll be aiming for, he said AT is good in rounds, but he thinks a time of 110 might be possible. So we'll see Skandir drive a 1 minute 9. Um, there is some GPSs. Yeah. I don't know if any of the players are watching right Scandier now. Scandir drive something. <laughs> you have three options for a GPS. You have an engine off gate. Yeah, there's a safe GPS, which is the cruise control gate, and the tutorial GPS, which is the reset gate. So, any of the players, you might want to remember that one for uh, going around. Um, yeah, he said he loves the mini RPG of the week, and he uh, he hopes he hopes everyone everyone finds it really enjoyable. So, uh, yeah. Uh, um, listen, I'm just going to be speaking from the void. Uh, that's just going to be what we're going to have this stream. Uh, I'm excited to see the map. Yeah, Dobry, we kind of, we end up having Dobry a lot on Mini RPG of the Week. He's a pretty fun mapper. Um, excited to see kind of his take on more of a trickless map, something that focuses more on just kind of technique and making sure you've really kind of got the map down. Um, mm. Should be interesting to see. Um, also interesting to see how it'll play with kind of uh, it's not a new format anymore. Like I said, we're nearly at the end of Season 4, but Season 4 does have a different format compared to what we've had in the past three seasons of Mini RPG of the Week. We have the Elimination Zone now, so I think especially for kind of a map like this, where what's important is technique and your lines and your landings, that's going to mean that, you know, even if you mess up badly on one round and get put in that Elimination Zone, you're not necessarily in too much danger in the next round if you can pull off a good run. Um, we had some really exciting elimination zones last week. I think last week, nearly like every elimination zone had someone who we would think of as like a top mini RPG of the week player in there. To be in the elimination so, zone. In the elimination zone, yeah. So mm. it'll be exciting to see if we can maybe get something like that again this week. Yeah, we're just getting a look at the map here. It looks like like what the map is said very much about your landings, keeping your speed, doing everything as clean as possible. Um, did you know, Sixteenth? I was the I was me and Thomas were the first uh, pastors to do the new format, and Nua stuck oh, it with yeah. us, stuck us with it, uh, with no prior warning, yeah, whatsoever. Completely stuck us with it. Uh, but that being <laughs> said, even though I had a traumatic first experience, I've really grown to very much enjoy this format. I think it's I think it's pretty cool that you know you're not one and done. You're, yeah. You might be too undone, but it's unlikely that you're gonna go out and 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 you're probably gonna survive the danger zone. So I, I really I I think the format is sick. I'm really looking forward to it. No, I really like it, and I like the way. Um, I was kind of saying last week how occasionally you know we'll get some of our top players in that elimination zone. Mm. That's good to see because, you know, in previous seasons of Mini RPG of the Week, sometimes you did get the feeling that like sometimes the top players will just kind of coast. Uh, through the whole game and then they'll have one bad round and be taken out whereas the elimination zone not only just means that they get taken out by that one bad round but it also like kind of lets you see those top players racing under a little bit of pressure before you might mm -hmm. normally see them facing that pressure um, which is mm -hmm. nice for kind of yeah. I don't know bringing out a bit of spice to the game as well Gotta bring out, gotta bring out a bit of spice to the game. You know, we can't just have Scandir running away with it every round. Uh, speaking of Scandir, is he? He is. Oh, okay. I mean, he is in the server. <clears throat> I can see his name. He's so, probably uh, just not even practicing. You know. <laughs> yeah, he, just, he, he took one look at the map to, and he, he instantly memorized it. <laughs> he knows exactly what he's doing. Oh, speaking speaking yeah. of the devil, there he is. Um, yeah, he's a. He's, 
seriously pressed. But I, 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 I don't know. I have a, I have a good feeling about today that Scandir might not win. That's, that sounds horrible to say as a good feeling, but you know we want, we want new <laughs> winners. We want people who haven't won before. Um, yeah, we want to get some. But, uh, maybe not fresh blood because. I feel like even if Scandir doesn't take it, someone else who has won before will probably, probably take it. Have, probably will, yeah, yeah. I think yeah, no, there was no. a stat uh, floated around last week, I think. Um, Scandir had won, like, it was something crazy. It was like 75% of every mini RPG of the week he had played, he had won. What? Yeah, I, it was maybe a little bit lower than that, but it was, like, it was an absurdly high thing. It was like, yeah, he just shows up and wins. Like, that's how it works. Seventy-five percent is insane. That's yeah, disgusting. He, he really is the one to watch. <laughs> like he's just, <laughs> and he's kind of, he came a little bit late to the game as well. I feel like it wasn't really until sort of halfway through season three, maybe, that we started regularly seeing Scandir. Um, and yet, I mean, even though he kind of only showed up maybe like halfway through season three, he's currently. Uh, sort of definitely breathing down the neck of most wins ever at Mini RPG of the Week as well. That's insane. 75%, yeah. even if the number is a little bit less than that, is just ridiculous. It's yeah. ridiculous levels. Um, of... I mean, that's crazy. Yeah, if we want to look over there at the uh, the local records for our level so far, you can see currently at the top of the leaderboard, we've got Yannix. Yannix has got a 113.9, not a bad time, pretty respectable. Yannix is another one of those players who is kind of going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Scandir for most wins ever of Mini RPG of the Week. Yannix has been a regular competitor since like the start of the competition. I'm pretty sure he raced in Edition 1. If not Edition 1, he was definitely there within the first five editions of Mini RPG of the Week. And yet wow. he is kind of neck and neck with Scandir for total wins. Yeah. Scandir having Scandir come in up halfway through season, season three. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah, but Scandir is just like he's just a very good player at the game. He, he's gonna excel at anything he touches. Uh, anything he touches, I suppose. But yeah, we have uh, other names than this. Artis, I believe I've seen him before in many of the Yeah, week. Artis is another Possibly. one. Um, Ice Morph. up there. Ice now at the top of the records. Uh, another Morph one of our kind of classic top players. Ah, uh, knew it. Told yeah. me how to say it, and I can't remember. No, Thomas told me how to say it, and I can't remember. Morph. Morpio. Morpio, that was it. Morpio, um, yeah. Seeing him a few times. I can't remember who won the last time I was here. I don't remember. It might have been Morpio. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't Scandir. It's really something yeah, we should work better to remember, but it was like, I, I, yeah, yeah. You we know, can just say it's probably Scandir. <laughs> if you say Scandir, the chances are you were right 75%. There's a 75% chance you were right. <laughs> if you say Scandir. Um. But yeah, got a, still got seven minutes, I think, of warm-up slash registration. That's a nice map, though. Yeah, we're about um, halfway through it now. Yeah, I like it. Very um, nice. I definitely kind of see uh, what Dobry was talking about in terms of, like, not a lot of tricks. Um, yeah. But there are, you know, a couple of landings, a um, couple of... I think there is that one bug slide he was talking about. Um, but it's, yeah, it's mostly yeah, just about, about how you're lying, how you, are you carrying your speed through, that kind of thing. There it is, yeah. Yeah. There's the books right there, and uh, yeah, very kind of just it's very flowy. The, the the winner today will be the one who masters the flow the best, I think. So Scanner, um, yeah, I think that's right. I wonder is uh, I wonder is Hazard. <laughs> Hazard is another name I'd like to see. I just, I just yeah, Hazard is great another one of our. Like, give us a give us a new winner. <laughs> <laughs> I think Scandir. I think if anyone is beating Scandir for top wins, it is Hazard. Um, I think Hazard's on like 12, Scandir's on 10 or 11 or something like that. Um, so the kind of battle for, you know, quote unquote best player is between those two right now. Um, so yeah, it's always nice to see Hazard here. Um, especially because I feel like you normally do end up with a final of Scandir and Hazard, and it's nice to see kind of that <laughs> battle going on. Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean. Yannix, Artis, Ice, I wouldn't be surprised to see any of those guys in the final either. Um, I, mean, look, I hope we. Uh, it seems rare, but it has wins. happened before that Scandir doesn't get to the final. So Yeah, it's true. I hope uh, I hope we get to see some of these battles at the land, though. That would be. Yeah, um, very definitely. Nice. I mean, 11th I think... and 12th? And we're just going to have to keep mentioning it. This is what Nua told me. <laughs> 
you yeah. better for that. 11th and 12th the 11th May. and 12th of May, Campaign France. And just live a thousand uh, euro cash prize. RPG of the Week Ultimate. Uh, yeah, a and I mean, euro. there's a thousand euro grand prize, so I'm sure that's going to draw out a lot of our top players uh, who feel like they have a chance at winning it. And yeah, it's going to be exciting. I've, uh, I've actually never been to a LAN party, so I don't know if like the atmosphere of a LAN party will, will soup it up as well. I'm going to assume yeah. it's got party in the name. It's got Hopefully to do we it. get like trash talking across tables and oh, I <laughs> people so. screaming and shouting. That'd be sick. I want to see that thing thrown, okay? <laughs> yeah, nothing thrown, like, but like, like actual a bit of trash, trash talking. Media screen to just be like a small yeah. little screen in the bottom and the main camera oh. is just focused on like Rolls that are happening in no all. way he's trying to no slide he's trying to no slide it look at Lucis <laughs> right now he's trying to nose book his yeah. way to the finish he's gonna get it I, uh, oh he got it yeah that's not bad <laughs> what a genius probably slower than jumping straight in though unfortunately we don't um we yeah. haven't quite got to the stage of awarding cool points for mini rpg of the week yeah but uh, this is something i've been arguing about uh, since I, I feel like cool my first or second cool. time I've been on this stream, style points need to be given. Style points absolutely need to be given. Preferably at every yeah, event. Maybe there's still time to get them implemented oh. for LAN, you know? Ireland! In the bottom left! Yo! Oh. an Irish player! <laughs> Let's go! Sorry, me and, me and Steve are both, both, uh, both Irish, so we will be extremely yeah, biased I'm not an towards him today. This is where I'm from. Um, so D Cush, I was saying earlier, um, before we started, I've done, you know, nine or ten mini RPG of the weeks at this point. I feel like I've maybe seen three or four Irish players across all that time. So even seeing one more is like, okay, come on, yeah. boys. I usually try and um, get them all to play when I'm casting. Because uh, yeah. it's, it's, it's very funny to just laugh at them uh, when they fail. Because the, the, deployer, the deployer is... Very good at finding them when they crash. Like he's actually, it's actually <laughs> kind of impressive uh, how how well the player can navigate to the crashed Irish players. Uh, it's almost as if he has like a personal vendetta against them. <laughs> I think it's oh, just uh, the luck of the Irish operating in reverse, maybe. Mm. I think uh, yeah, we saw someone kind of go for that uh, nose bump into the ending there. It didn't work out for them. Um, is something that if someone manages to pull off in rounds, I'll be very excited to see it, but it is definitely more of a risk than a reward associated with it, I think. Um, so we're coming kind of close to the end of our sort of registration warm-up period now. Ice currently topping the leaderboard. He's got a 111.7, not too bad. Um, kind of around him within the top five, we're looking at mostly 112s. Um, but then, you know, as you get further out of that, once you're sort of at the back of the top 10, we've got Artiste there with a 113.2. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it was like a 110. Was that the predicted best time? 110 was he thinks he'll see 110s. Uh, also, yeah. um, I'm not sure what the AT is, but he said the AT would be a good time in rounds. Uh, okay. uh, maybe I'll try to find the AT. AT either, but... <laughs> I'll try to find the AT. Uh, oh, what's the name of the map? Block. Block Cruise. Block Cruise. Block Cruise. There's currently no tracks to show. Okay, okay. To TMIO we go. Uh, me up the week. Info. Ooh. Club. Activities. Edit. Room. Nope. Um, hmm. I'm gonna uh, let's have a guess. I'm gonna guess AT. We're gonna be looking at something like 114 or 15. It's in the top left, it's 112. Oh, 112 zero. That's the right 112 zero. Oh, so a few people have been ATs. Okay, okay. Man, we should have had guess. Okay. Well, How did we not see that? Somehow <laughs> just popped up and wasn't there the entire time that we were. <laughs> <laughs> we were filling time looking for that AT, which has definitely been sitting on the screen for the last minute. Um, the AT okay, is so about 12 0. Um, two so we've got two it. times right now who have beaten it Ice and Beta Toast. Um, beta close toast to the end of the registration the period, unlikely anyone else will beat it now. In rounds, mm. we could see that taken out um, and lowered. 
a considerable bit. Hopefully to that 110 that Dobry predicted. And, you know, maybe if we're lucky, even lower. Yeah, maybe 109. You know? 109 Scandier. could go crazy. At Scandier. Do a 109 first round, you both. All right, and we are just a few seconds away from the end of registration. I'm assuming you just have to finish the map to register? Probably. That's probably the way it's done. And uh, here yeah, that's we it. go. Um, so, yeah, first round, come on now. First round, not an elimination round. Anyone will... Well, first round and second round, not an elimination round. Um, no, second round is. is. Wait, no. Yeah, first second round is, round is just, an is elimination is... round. First, first round, round is like elimination no zone. KO. First round is like no KO, but people can still go into the danger zone, I think. Oh god, I've passed it so many times. How am I still getting confused in the format? We'll find this out. This is a new we'll, format. We Nabla, haven't had it for many episodes. Uh, Nabla forgot the map. That's really unfortunate. That... <laughs> <laughs> I said before, hopefully we'll have nobody ca forgetting the map, and the first person we spectate in round one is Nabla, and he forgets what way to drive. Yeah. That's, that, that's unfortunate. <laughs> but, Look, uh, ideally yeah, it's not going to happen to you, but sometimes it does. Sometimes it uh, does. We're following the speed stuff right now, uh, Uso as well. Both of them doing pretty well, uh, up at the front of the pack, second and third place. Predictably, we do see Scandir up there at the top of the pack. <laughs> Um, off into the sunset. Yeah, I'm sure that'll probably be the only round where he's up at the front. Um, pretty good player count this week. We've got, yeah. what is it, 91 players? And 96, nice I to think. See. That's pretty nice. Oh, 96, okay. Uh, so we are going to see a big 16-person elimination zone at the end of this first round. Coming up to the end of it now, Scandier finishing first, then speeds up, and I think Uso that's also record. setting pretty nice times. I can't remember exactly what... Yep, it is road record. Uh, I knew Ice did a 111. I couldn't remember what a variety of 111 he did. But uh, yeah, Scandir takes the road record in the first round. Uh, anyone got the classic <laughs> emote on hand? Uh, <laughs> the ex expected. <laughs> that sort of stuff. Oh, Hello Mark! We have Hello Mark, Mark playing! He is going to find himself in the danger zone, I think. Yeah, um, it's straight to the danger zone, but I mean, at least one round not been in the danger zone. There's a chance for recovery. Might not be stuck in that danger zone for too long if they can pull off a better time in the next round. That's very true. And actually, I think Mark's going to escape the danger zone because some people are having to finish. Oh, no. Oh, if he can finish the no. map. <laughs> he's good. He's just got it. Okay. That is and by the skin of his teeth. Any names here that we wouldn't expect to see in the danger zone no spoder no it looks like i uh, guess spoder i, I guess Dobry is in there Dobry. Dobry is in there uh, i wonder is he mapper tonight maybe it's, is it a different Dobry? he is mapper i, I wonder so. is he no i'd say he's probably gonna no maybe he'll play maybe he'll play the DNF DNF last round, the so maybe yeah, yeah i don't maybe. know um I'm playing he says so Different okay. Dobry? We'll see. Different Dobry. Uh, Shanti Ye, one of our oh, players, no, he's, he's DNF in... Now. Oh, he's DNF, okay. He's yeah, just he's, pro he's probably just in here to, uh, to spectate his uh, his wonderful creation, which we are which we are really, really enjoying uh, having played. Thank you very much, Dobry, yeah. if you're if you're watching. This is this cool beautiful map. map. Um, unfortunate that you will be one of the first people eliminated from your own map. You know, you can claim you weren't playing, uh, but, um, I you know, think that's probably allowed. just I think your own map. It's the respectable <laughs> thing to do, not to play your own map. Uh, I, I, You're going to take a win from Scandir, Dobry. You could have done it. <laughs> yeah, you could have done it. <laughs> As, uh, yeah, so in the danger zone right now, we have some safe people and some not the safe people. Spoder, I imagine, is going to be safe. He's, uh, he's only three seconds behind the leader and he's 11. No, he's 30 seconds almost safe. From uh, from the danger zone as he uh, catches a few people on his way through the tree. Oh my god, that was yeah. Um, ah, there is a safe finish. Yeah. So he'll be fine. Uh, so will Yanka. So Aslod. Getting past that, we have Shantye. Oh, they disappeared. Shantier. Oh, they're back. Where do they go? I don't know. Yanka hits the wall. That's not gonna help his danger zone chances. So eight people will be eliminated here. Yeah, if the bottom eight players in the danger zone. The bottom eight Dobry's players. Bottom, so technically only seven. Oh, okay, only um, seven. And we have another DNF now, so you only have to be yeah. of the, six, the seventh slowest surviving player uh, to get to, to stay safe. You probably do want to be finishing the map as well. 
Um, yeah, there's only 11 seconds not left. a lot of time left Logan to do that, finish? So. He has to go safe finish. He has time. Yeah. He's good. Whew. Does not have the speed he needs oh, to get that risky finish. No, and thankfully for him, he thought very hard about not going for it and missing. So we see all of these players eliminated, followed by some new Danger Zone enjoyers. Uh, hello, Mark, being one of them. Yeah. So... Mark um, in the danger zone. In the danger zone. The danger yeah, zone. Still, I remember the the first time. There's kind of we did no this. one who we would maybe think of as like a surprise necessarily. Yeah. In the danger zone, that's kind of something that we're going to maybe expect on a week like this week where we are close to player cap. Um. Mm. So you know, it's going to take a couple of rounds before we get to like um, sort of danger zone risk for the top players. The usual. Uh, the usual Chantier, guy. Chantier, mini RPG. Yeah, who we might kind of expect to just like yeah. take wins uh, if Scandia here. wasn't here. Um, yes. Chantier, though, in the danger zone again, didn't get eliminated last round, but didn't make it out of the danger zone either. Aslo won, uh, another one of our players who we're seeing in the danger zone in round three, who was also there in round two. It's really kind of make and break for these guys. Yanka is there as well. Um, they want to get out of the danger zone. They want to have at least one safe round, um, but mm. unfortunately, uh, or a lot of them, like say Flo, who we're riding with now, it looks like they might have made it out of one danger zone, but the next one might be a bit more deadly for might, them. Might, might, might claim them. As uh, Chantier has also dropped back and has Hello Mark. So there's, you know, the, the, there's some people who are quite safe in the danger zone right now. You know, plus three seconds and 36th place, 40th place, 48th place. But as you start to go down that leaderboard, you get to like 70th place, and that's really where you're in danger <laughs> sure yeah. you're really in danger um, there it, yeah, it's only... a little crazy like diversity of times there like you've got someone who's like under like 4.6 uh, seconds behind and then we can come down to the bottom chantier you know 4.8 seconds behind there's like a 10 yeah. times factor there in difference between how yeah. far behind the guy um yeah unfortunately for chantier doesn't look it's like they're going to be surviving good. into the next round unfortunately no. doesn't look like they're going to be finishing the last round um, no, they're yeah, 49 seconds behind. But not long left. Hello, Mark. Stay in. It's hard to tell. No, I don't think so. Okay, so th we have some danger zone people. Nope, they're guaranteed gone. to be in the danger zone. They're not going to finish the map. Uh, I wonder what times the leader did. Scandia still has world record. Okay, so still the point six. Uh, yeah. Ice won with a one twelve zero. Okay, okay, okay. So Ice is almost at that one, uh, getting getting himself back into the one elevens, as uh, a number more people into the danger zone. Could Carlberg? Carlberg's in the danger zone. Yeah, obviously um, not a lot of dirt. Starting on this to map. see some kind of mini RPG regular names in there as well. Uh, some we got names. Bolet in there. Uh, Mister Plus, we see pretty often on mini RPG of the week as well. Um, mm -hmm. So you know, starting to get to the point where. Uh, one bad round, it's bad enough to just kick you back into that danger zone. We're kind of, we've caught uh, the chaff maybe of like people who are just coming in and DNFing, people who joined last minute and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, we're going to start seeing hopefully some more exciting danger zones in these future rounds. We're right in with Montreal now, not doing too bad, kind of falling uh, a bit to the back of the pack, but um, well, a lot of map you know, go. unfortunately is in the danger zone and in the danger zone. You can be in a place like 50 seconds out of like 75 and because you're still one of the bottom eight in that danger zone you're still in trouble yeah very very true um Harlberg looks to have somewhat alleviated his his danger zone woes although i say that he's slowly dropping back down the pack he must have made a mistake but the, this is a pretty tight danger zone here you know plus 10 seconds is out um which on a one minute, yeah. 10 second RPG map where there's a lot of mistakes happening is, you know, because of Harbour clips, that's not going to help his chances of surviving into this next round. He gets overtaken by a rake of players, including Brent Yeah, that is not the one he wants to see. Who's in the danger zone. So they're fighting it out. They're so close together. Is Harbour going to survive? Oh, nice little bug slide. And he does just about survive. I think if they're above the line, they survive. Yes. That is perhaps. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, Carver yeah. Yeah. to make it through. Yeah, they put that line in to, to help us because we're not, you know, we, we, we struggle. We, 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 we struggle.
uh, what if that line like it. wasn't even where the survival point was? That was just put in there like fuck with us. That was just like, oh yeah, you know, the line's there, it doesn't mean anything. But... The line's there, it doesn't mean anything. It means everything to us now. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> the line everyone's finishing them off that round, so so that that's nice. Well, apart from the DNFers, if there was any. As uh, Carlberg gets himself out of the danger zone, all these people get themselves out, and we have some new Enjoys, including Experial, my manager. No, Experial. No. no. <laughs> my, my, my manager. My, my, my. Well, You're my. Fired. <laughs> my, my EMC teammate. No. <laughs> Act. Survive, please. Okay, you better, you better say some good things about uh, them this turn. You know, just big them up well, for their round the in the danger man. zone. Experial's the go, man. I, I, I love him. He, he's, 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 yeah, he's, he's great. Uh, I'm on, I'll be on the team with him for EMC as well, so I'm I'm looking forward to that. Um, yeah, come on, Axe. I I, I, I believe in you, but a, a less biased. I was told I was the most biased caster ever, and that I have to be less biased. So uh, I will <laughs> okay, now stop actually, supporting. Uh, supporting. I take back giving you that opportunity. <laughs> uh, Yog, unfortunately, we saw just missed one of the landings there. Had to do a pretty long turnaround yes. to get up that ramp. Um, has kind of knocked Yog back to close to the bottom of the leaderboard. Not a place you want to be at all, but when you are in the danger zone like Yogg, especially, you don't want to be there. You, you, you do um, not want to be doing there. Doing their best to catch up. Um, but, there's a lot still of kind of nine though. seconds behind. He's got to catch up at least like five and a half seconds if he wants to get out of that danger zone. He's praying for a mistake from someone ahead of him right now. Yeah, look at, look at Nabla though. That's really, you know, being in the danger zone and just being like, no, second. From the danger zone yeah. <laughs> is, is is crazy. Fair play to him. Look back towards the pack. Can Vortex get himself in? Will anyone miss finish? Vortex survives. Has needs a lot of people to miss the finish here. I don't know if he's going to get it. He does not. He just misses out yeah. on surviving. Well, he would be back in the danger zone again, but at least he would have survived, right? But um, unfortunate yeah. for Paz there. Just not enough people making mistakes at the end to allow him to uh, to survive and. Uh, we say goodbye to eight more players. Yeah, Nikolig, one of them, uh, didn't seem to have a great round there. Coming in as our last finisher and a finisher in the oh, game. Well. So, to the curve. No! No! <laughs> That's how the cookie crumbles sometimes, I'm afraid. No, my beloved. We're down now anyway. to... Oh, and a new world record from Scandir, I'm hearing from yeah. Dolby in chat as well. Um, the 111.5.599, so pretty close to that 111.6. We still, it looks like, haven't seen anyone get close um, to kind of the 110 that we saw predicted as maybe the best map time. Still a lot of race to go. We're only on round six out of 26 right now. Scandir, Ice, uh, Nabla, any of them could take a really good time. Uh, Nabla, actually, I'm noticing there, number oh, three. Fine on the record table but in the danger yeah he shot point. right up uh yeah heartbreaking yeah i think that number three time probably was the time he did last round to escape the danger zone which is crazy because uh you know you're in the danger zone maybe feeling a little bit of pressure okay i can't make mistakes like i made the last round now i like i don't have the option to and he just you know whips out a 111 ace and just says have at it lads <laughs> <laughs> or is it actually i'm not sure going to that past. danger zone you won't see me there again we We've gone past the uh, 64 player count, so we're down to four eliminations now from the uh, from the eight we've seen so far. So back to cup of the, pretty much cup of the day mode, as as we all know, because I'd say most most people would play play an L cup of the day every once in a while. So back to cup of the day eliminations. I think I think it's a little bit different at the end, but uh, yeah, back to just four people uh, with eight going to danger. So I think it's half every time. Or uh, something like that as a uh, oh, laugh? L4, uh, laugh. Yeah, we're gonna go with laugh. Uh, is the last player from the danger zone safe <laughs> just getting ahead of Nico Galicia uh, to uh, to keep himself in? As uh... Yeah, that was a quick round. Wow. Um, what time did Yannick do? Yannick today won. Uh, oh, Scotty did a 111. So one. I mean. 111, okay. Another world record. Yep. We were just talking about, yep. you know, Scandi hit the world record. <laughs> oh, uh, I beta toasted a 111. Closing in on that one. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> 111.2 and second. Unlucky. <laughs> what can you do? Yeah, what that can is you do? 
Oh, look at who we have in the danger zone now. We have two players. Ooh, black oh, I think I recognize. We have a black. Yeah, horse. I mean black holes, more people, uh, and then Sidzer and um, Cham in there as well. Again, yeah, kind of players some... you wouldn't normally expect to see in the danger zone this early. Um, we'll what? see if they can recover. It looks like all of them comfortably are right now. They're in that top half of the danger zone, but there's a battle going for it. Uh, Laugh uh, in 29th, Goliath in 27th, Jam 32nd. You know they're kind of jockeying around that Pretty top close. 20 position. Uh, and yeah, even Morpio, who's like pretty safe in 15th. He's not that far uh, from the rest yeah, right of the pack ahead. in yeah. the danger zone. Yeah. Black Pulse has actually fallen to the back of the danger zone, though, so he could be in trouble, too. Um, yeah, as uh, he's going to have to gain quite a bit of time to uh, or really, at this stage, hope for mistakes. I don't know if you're going to be able to gain, you know, two seconds without a mistake yeah, he's here. two so. seconds behind. He's got to race very well and also hope for kind of a mistake if he wants to recover. Oh, um, hasn't happened so far. Could still happen, but he's got to be doing pretty well to recover right now. Goes risky route. Does he make the jump? He makes the jump. So this, this is the. He's giving it the best chance he can. It's oh my god! It's only three places ahead of him. He gets risky. He doesn't get it. He's out by four positions on the it. leaderboard. Twentieth, twenty second, and twenty fourth. Right there around the, the danger zone barrier. As uh, he misses out by about a second and a half. Uh, there. Yeah, with, uh, he made a not a bad recovery at the end, but unfortunately, it was just a little too little too late. Not oh, enough to carry wait. him out of the danger zone. I see zone. nice times. The player hit the button. One ten six and a one ten nine. We got so it. We not, we not only we we not only got yeah. one, but we got two <laughs> in the same round. Yeah, next Scandir. Mean, Scandir might have gotten it? the one ten. At least he wasn't the only one who got it on that round. Yes. Yannick has got it too. Um, yeah. That could say something interesting about who we might be seeing in the final. Yannick and Scandir. Um, kind of like the old guard versus the new dog. I don't know. Yeah. New dog is that an expression? New dog, old tricks. New, new I don't comer? know what it Newcomer, the newbie. I don't know if it feels I mean, fair I, to I call Scandier a newbie. A newbie is, yeah, I don't think you call yeah. <laughs> But damn, yeah, nice, nice, nice times there. So maybe I don't know. We've hit that one ten target that the mapper said was was possible. Will we see a one oh nine? Six tenths feels like a lot to shave off. It is a one-minute, nine-second map, though, and it's RPG, so, like, you know, I maybe wouldn't be we'll shocked see... to see a 1-9. I, I definitely yeah. don't think we're going to go lower. I think a 1-9 no, is no, probably no, the no. best you can pull off on a map like this. Yeah, but 100%. I well, it rounds, be surprised anyway. Maybe if, if you're, like, see a maybe there's a route. There might be a different route that you can you can get it. Like, sometimes these maps have been caught. I think it was caught one day when I was casting, and, uh... Yeah. Um, we don't have Seafill here this week, but Seafill is normally like see, our see, see, It was Seafill who cut it. Will it find was, it was, yeah, yeah. Seafill <laughs> who cut the one when, when, when I was saying, this danger zone is so close, oh my god. Reginald misses out because he missed the finish. And Roach is also unfortunate. Missed, so just, He looked so close, barely, but he just barely skimmed past it. Barely missed. Uh, As, unfortunately uh, for Mr. Plus. Uh, going for this safe finish, I mean, he may as well. Even the risky finish wasn't going to get him through to the next round. Um, well, Morpio. And we are going to see him eliminated. Morpio. Morpio. Oh, he'll be Not going the danger, the danger zone, zone this he round. He will be in the yeah, next round. Yeah. He will yeah. be in the next round, yeah. I was very confused with the colouring there and everything that was going on. But, uh... uh yeah, Morpio, yeah, Morpio actually finishing should... last out of 46 in that last round, so he must have had a bad now time. Beta Toast in there as well. Yeah, Morpio, yeah. Uh, Beta Toast, Carl Burke... Uh, is yeah, this is going to be a tough danger round. No. Uh, Artis is not in there. Around. I was seeing things. Um, I think he was close to it, but he just didn't get it. But yeah, uh, Beta Toast and Morpio. I mean, Beta Toast, currently one of our top players on the leaderboard for this week. He's looking pretty safe. He's already up to fourth position. Closest to him is Carlberg, who's in 16th. Um, and, but, you know, there's only kind of about 0 0.03 of a second between the two of them. Um, mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Morpio as well, doing pretty safe. Um, hopefully, you know, he'll be able to recover from a bad last round that managed to put him into that danger zone. Sushi also in the danger zone, currently at the top of the players who will be eliminated in that danger zone, but he's only got to shave off about 0.2 of a second if he wants to make it out. Very doable, and he does do so as he manages to pull ahead of Karlberg. 
Yeah, so it pulls out of Carberg here as we head into the second half of the map. Carberg is going to need to make up some time to uh, Sushi in front of him if he wants to survive the danger zone this time. But we see a couple of mistakes happening around us. Is there? Is that anyone who's in the danger zone right now? Is someone's driving the complete wrong way off the map as uh, it's a second. Sushi makes a mistake, which means that Carberg yeah, that could be what Carberg needs. through and should find himself safe by the skin. Unless he misses the finish. He didn't miss the finish. No, Safe by it. the skin of his teeth. Unfortunate. Against. Yeah, Sushi had a good round, but that one wobble, unfortunately, will let Carl go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, Kills you sometimes. Yeah, that, that one wobble. It literally, literally. And yeah, I mean, it got if we look at the top the of the danger zone there as well. Yeah, yeah. that's what uh, we expect. We look at the top of the danger zone there. Yeah, made a toast in Morpheo. Out in third and fifth. Right at the it's top one bad of the round. Right at the top of the round. Over. Yeah, it's, it's not over until it's over. As, uh, uh, yeah, we see Yozo in the danger zone now, and Softy D, and Shoffy. He's a uh, player. Bab02, he's been in the danger zone once or twice, I think, uh, already. Maybe? Yeah, this yeah, is his third uh, time in the danger zone. Oh, no, he's been in three he's times. Been in twice wow. Already. He is really trying his best to survive, and he gets off to a shocker of a start here. So, hopefully. Look a weird jump there. Yeah. <laughs> Not not hopefully, but he'll be very much hoping that everyone around him makes mistakes. He was... Uh, hello, Scandir, who might be going to the danger zone next round. He won't be. Scandir will push and he'll suddenly yeah, find himself... That's easily recoverable for Scandir. Yeah, it's it's Scandir as... Uh, you can see Scandir positive. like drop to the bottom and he'll still somehow just like pull the out to get out yeah. of there. It's crazy. We see uh, Ostralex and Shafi have really grabbed this danger zone no, with both hands and uh, find themselves in fifth and sixth in the round. The others are, you know, Sophie yeah, D is bad. he's in danger. It's it's not he's not really comfortable, but he's 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 feeling okay. But he's not super comfortable right now because any yeah. small clip or mistake, three players go flying past you and it's GG. So uh, he'll Still, be hoping he's feeling not like to a make little bit mistakes. more comfortable. He's pulled ahead of a ice supplier there, but feeling yeah, pretty comfortable uh, now. if he can nail this ending, which yeah. he seems to have, he's good. Ostrelex. Ostradex was up in third place, and he somehow almost ended and up 18. in the danger zone. Kind that of a heartbreaking is... finish for Hostel there. Got 21st, not bad overall, um, but unfortunately, mm -hmm. in the danger zone, it was a pretty competitive danger zone that round, and 21st is not enough to take him through to the next round. Yeah, it's not 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 gonna be not gonna be enough for him as we see spoder back in the danger zone. a few few double danger zone and triple danger zone enjoyers i would say enjoying the yeah. danger zone probably isn't the best for your wantingness to stay in you probably want to be a, no, a non-danger like zone the enjoyer rate either right you know yeah 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 um, like, like you probably levels, don't want to yeah go through the roof. yeah you don't want to be like Nua, and uh, yeah. unfortunately Nua is, Nua is no longer with us, unfortunately. May he, may he rest in peace. He's in a bad place right now. He did die. Uh, uh, he's in a bad place right this now. This is actually uh, the second stream I've been on where <laughs> Nua is dead. He, he's, he's, he's in a bad place right now. He's in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I've just offended everyone. My apologies. Don't ban me, please. I, I apologize. Anyway, uh, on to a, another round of mini RPG of the week. We have Spoder finding himself in the danger zone again. And it's actually uh, pretty tight between uh, those who are out of the round currently and those who are in as Spoder makes a bit of a mistake. There's Tomote and Bands, literally the, the three players. They're 25th, 26th, and 27th right now. This is incredible. This is the danger yeah, that's, zone right uh, now. That is an exciting danger zone to be in if you are in 25th, 26th, or 27th place. Tomote manages this. to pull ahead of Bands. Smote into 23rd, Bands into 24th, Spoder's in 26th, he's falling behind, but it is still Brands very, very recoverable for him. Is it going to be enough to yeah. go first with Bands here? Who's going to get the Bands both? pulls ahead just at the Bands end. Ooh. Oh, they both got it. Both of them through. There's a mistake ahead. Unfortunately for Spoder, Hyperio. wasn't able to make it again. Hyperio, I think, might have made a mistake, or Golio made a mistake and allowed got both of them in, Bands and Tomote. Uh both ended up being in that was very hype to being very not hype guys why'd you crash as oh hello ice nice nice of you yeah, to join us ice in that danger zone uh, nice um, of you to join us can in we get the, the area records for a second danger. i want to see what ice is uh what's ice's top time right now i'm assuming he's probably in the top five or ten. Seven. Seven. this is beta toast yeah, to join bad. the 110 club 
He's uh, beta toasted the meat in a oh. Yanex and Scandir sandwich, wedging himself in that three tenth gap in the, uh, in the in the leaderboard. So uh, I'm not sure when I he did that. I would say toast is probably one of the worst things you could have as the meat in a sandwich. Um, yeah, you're it's like got, you're, off you're bread right. on the outside, crunchy bread in the middle. It's not in, You probably don't want to. I don't know. I've never, I've never had a bread sandwich before. Joe, Joe, who would okay, probably eat a bread sandwich? Who? Thomas. Skizzy. <laughs> I can see some it. weird yeah. foods. He eats some weird foods. He eats some really weird foods. Okay, but uh, I want to get into like some real track mania discussion right now. I've got an important question for you. Would you rather eat a sandwich that was two slices of toast with a plain slice of bread in the middle, or two plain slices of bread with a slice of toast in the middle? Which you do you think would be better? I think... In track mania. Yeah. I think the two slices of toast, because the crunch. This you get a bit more crunch to have a discussion, because it wasn't even a close danger zone. So we, we, we timed this to perfection. Oh, no, I knew. I said, look at this danger zone. Ice is getting out of there. It's going to be a boring one. Let's talk about toast. Let's talk about toast. And we did talk about toast. We actually, this was something I haven't seen. Maybe I have seen it before. A player in the danger zone coming first. Yeah. Maybe when Scandia's in the danger zone, it's going uh, to happen, but... Yeah, but still, tell me, not bad. Uh, and a 111 oh, three, so getting close to that 110, too. That's once again a really good way of, you know, telling the danger zone, I am the danger. <laughs> and uh, pulling yourself out. I'll tell you, you know, put the danger in the danger, the danger zone. zone, though. Mor Morpheo in the danger yeah. zone for the third time. Morpheus. Needs to be, and Carlberg needs to be careful <laughs> now, because three is kind of where, you know, you can get lucky twice, right? Really, kind of, mm, you know, you're pushing your luck. Yeah, you probably want to. You're kind of pushing your luck. We can see Morpio himself in the in-game in chat. Just unfortunately says he's feeling like he's got absolutely no pace on this. We're kind of seeing that with this third time in the danger zone. Still not kind of doing too badly in fifth place. And I think we're probably going to see something similar to what we've seen with the previous times Morpio has been in the danger zone, where. He manages to recover pretty safely. Um, doesn't take that corner maybe exactly as well as he would like to, but still pretty safe up there in the danger zone. Yeah, absolutely. As uh, we're now getting into you know thirty players, but still eight people. So you know you could find yourself in the top ten of a round and be out if you're in the danger zone. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like the, just the before less that players there is, it lowers down to just a four person, and it's brutal right yeah. now. Yeah, you, you start you start getting like the better players in the danger zone because they've made a mistake and they're, they haven't been able to push out of it. Like you know, seventeenth, you know, you're you're half you're halfway ahead of the pack, but you might be out. As uh, we see Morpio making a big push to the end here, he's going to need to get a very nice finish, which he doesn't. Morpio out. Oh. That's heartbreaking. Oh no, um, that's heartbreaking. Morpio, and I was one saying, of our top three players is kind of the limit. Setting some really nice times, but that is unfortunately not going to do it. Three. Uh, Carl three Nerd, is kind another of the player limit. who's seen three times in the danger zone. They're both out. Yeah, I told you, is the three is the limit. Too. Three is a scary number. Uh, in terms yeah, of yeah, I'm watching out now. Stuff like this. this next danger zone is going in for the third time. Mm. Australax, you got to watch out. Fork. Come Come out. in for the fourth Come time. In for the fourth time. He, he, no, he's fine. He's avoided the the third curse, yeah. so he's reset. He's back at one. Basically, yeah, he doesn't have to watch out again until seven. Yeah, you know, the mode is safe it. in there. With no six, he doesn't have to watch out again until six. Oh, uh, I thought we were just that's... operating on like lucky numbers rules. <laughs> seven is a lucky number, but now nah, I think we go with the the ones. Oh, you can get lucky on one. You can get lucky on two. Three is where your luck starts running out. But if you get back to four, okay, you're fine. Your, you know, <laughs> it resets you've reset back it. to zero. You reset, reset back goal. to zero. You reset back to one. So he's he's only in for the first time now. So he's obviously going to survive this round, yeah. and nothing bad has happened. And nothing bad has ever happened when a caster has talked about someone's performance in a round. Yeah. Never in the history of <laughs> video mean, games. Tomo is about a second behind of getting out of the danger zone right I now. But he's going to pull it out of the bag. He's going to recover from this. Nothing bad has ever happened about casters talking about people's performance in a round. It's a known fact that nothing bad ever happens. 
I mean, they call it Caster's Blessing for a reason, right? Yeah, Caster's Blessing. That's... Look! <laughs> okay, wait, he's still, he's still not... Wait, okay, I'm starting to get a little bit concerned there. <laughs> um, Timote, I apologize. Yeah, it's almost oh, like this no, like, pseudo-scientific fourth time in the danger oh. zone rule he made up. is not true at all. He found he needs a mistake from someone. From anyone. Uh, Flanco, looking out for it's Flanco. It's going to be a pretty severe home. mistake, too. Oh, Nuclear made a mistake. Nuclear... Nuclear DNF'd. Tomoe is in. Oh, Tomoe did it. Tomoe got through. I told you. Damn. I told you. Okay, I'm now on board. Um, as long as Tomoe doesn't get in there for a sixth time, they're going to win tonight. Okay, well, uh, I wonder what that for is. Is this Skander still in? Is it Skander still in? Uh, uh, Skander, where we see Skander, Skander finish. Well, Skander is in danger place, zone. Maybe Skander here? Danger zone. Yeah. Danger Skander danger. in the danger zone. That is, uh, and normally happens maybe once a week, so... Here's our once a week. Beta in Beta there Toast, too, yeah. Beta Toast, Yuso, Artis, and Skandir all in the danger zone. Okay, so that's, that's a crazy. very dangerous that's a danger, danger zone, zone right that's, now. That's a very dangerous um, danger zone. Yeah, I mean, Beta Toast, maybe... Skandir, Artis, not names you want to see in the danger zone with you. Uh, let's, we we're, maybe... we're riding with Skandir right now, we'll see how he gets out of it. Um, Probably it is one thing I've noticed this week, not that Skandir's been doing poorly, but I feel like oftentimes you'll see Skandir consistently being the person who just like gets first on first on first. I feel like we've mm. seen maybe a little bit less of that this week. Maybe it speaks to yeah. Skandir having a bit more trouble with this map than he normally does. It might mean someone mm. else could come in and take the win. It might mean we need to start mapping more maps of this style. To, to make yeah, it spicy. we need to just get over in all the time. Stop yeah, putting any tricks in maps. We 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 need to we're just all new, uh, speed and lines. We're paying we're paying new uh, hundreds of millions a year to run this thing. I think we need to be giving it to Dobry. I believe that's it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I I think we need to be giving it to Dobry. Now, of course, naturally, Yannex is or not Yannex. Sorry, my apologies. Skandir has decided. I'm in the danger zone. I'm just going to do a nice time here. He's just kind of vibing along. But if we look back. Yuso is in 20th and Bans is in 16th. So, what two yeah. players I expected. Oh, great, not really what you want to be in. I had um, a feeling two Bans of them is would, would eliminate. Five places and about two seconds if he wants to recover. There's not enough time for it. Um, not a bad no. time, 13th, but unfortunately not enough to make it out of an incredibly competitive yeah, danger zone. Uso as well, uh, finishing in 20th. It's just not good enough uh, to carry him through. Uh, from this round. Mm -hmm. Scandier, Artis, and Ice, they make it comfortably out of that danger zone. Um, Tomote back in there for the fourth or for the fifth time, so he's still safe. But it's he's not still the fine. next round still safe. that Tomote's in danger. One thing mm -hmm. that's interesting I want to point out won that last round was Telne. Telne was a player we saw in the danger zone a couple of rounds ago. Also managed to get out in, I think, first or second. Not a name I super recognize as a competitor of Mini RPG of the Week, but certainly seems to be having a good time on this week's map. Yeah, yeah, certainly does. Is, uh, into round 16 of 26 now, so well, well past the uh, the halfway point. As uh, it's going to start getting tight now in the danger zone. I think you're going to see like eighth, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, and half of them will be in the danger zone, half of them won't. Um, but uh, yeah, to most needs to hurry up if we're going to get this thing right. Come on, you need to. Listen, do something. We saw like, it last yeah. time. The universe will make it work for Tomote to recover, okay? He might have a second and a half to make up. He'll do it somehow. He'll pull it out of the bag. Uh, I, I believe in him. There'll, there'll, be, there'll be a couple mistakes in front of him. Right? And yeah, Branco's... Vortex will just DNF, and so will Speed Vortex Self and Flanco. Tomote will actually win this danger zone. We need to make a mistake. Speed Self did make a mistake. He has to go safe route, so that, that could be one. He's gonna need so he's gonna need someone to miss the finish here. The speed stuff goes into danger zone. Will either of them miss the finish? Tomo misses by two tenths. Oh Maybe we got it wrong the this whole broken. time. We, we've been wrong up, the whole time. Five is the danger uh, zone. Five is the danger zone of the danger zone. I think Skandir has done like a one no one ten point two. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we're down Let's now see. into our four-person danger zone. Scandier with that one ten point two is not going to be in it. I don't know uh, if he did a one ten point two. Really close to that one nine. I know he did a really nice time, but I'm not sure what time it was because they were saying nice time in chat. One ten point five. Okay, so he's oh. back with world record. 
Okay. Fuck, okay. Maybe he's struggling he's to break record. Record. He's not barrier. that close to the 109. No. Um, but. It's, it's proving tough. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I believe in him. Um, yeah, really competitive danger zone. Um, well, I mean, I guess we've only got 14 players left, so 13th place isn't that good performance anymore. But um, Nabla, unfortunately, is hanging out there at the bottom of the danger zone. Going to need some really good racing to recover. Um, unfortunately, he's up against the likes of Beta Toast and Shofi and Bayron, all of whom seem to be doing a pretty good job of staying ahead of him. That bump might take him out of contention for this round. And now it's kind of just mm -hmm. Bayron needs to catch up on Shofi, who he's not too far behind. He isn't too far behind. He's, he's, he's probably going to need maybe a mistake. There's not a... Oh. Oh, oh he's okay. edging ahead. He couldn't pull it off, Shofi's but he might be ahead. able to get it. Else. He needs a mistake from someone, from anyone. Well, not anyone, specifically Beta Toast or Shofi. He needs them to miss the finish now. Shofi goes for a wider line to make sure he has more speed. Who are we watching? Bea I, that was so weird. Oh, Shofi missed. Shofi missed. I don't think the he was making it anyway, end. but that miss makes it even more heartbreaking. I don't know if... Oh, wait, no. Shofi was the one who missed. Oh, Shofi damn. Missed. Yeah. Shofi yeah, missed. Yeah, I got confused by the perspective there. Damn. Wow. Um, yeah, and then we get another super competitive <laughs> danger zone. I mean, Beta Toast, Artis, Goliat, and Flanco. Beta Toast survived the last danger zone, didn't survive it well enough to not end up there again. Uh, if you're Goliat or Flanco, you're worried right now because Beta Toast and Artis have both got a very proven track record of making it out of that danger zone. Um, yeah, although, they, you know, uh... Goliat and Flanco, we've seen them in there too, so they've made it out of here tonight as well. Mm -hmm. They, uh... yeah, like th this is. This is going to be a, an intense round, and you expect to see this, right? There's, there's four players left. I think it's the last four player, like, danger zone round, possibly, with, uh, with 12 players. Yeah, this is our last one. I think, we 10 after this? Maybe there might be one more after this. Yeah, yeah. But, like, this is where you really get those rounds where it's, like, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th are the danger zone peoples. And even though you've beaten people, you're still out. Yeah. Which is, uh, it's, it's the uh, heartbreaking yeah, part of this format. Have to recover. Yeah, it's the heartbreaking part of this format where, like, you think, Oh my god, Goliath, you are the luckiest person alive. He's not going to have speed for this, though. No. Possibly oh. going to see Goliath eliminated here as Flanco yeah, that's gonna be tough charges to through. Where's Artis? I see Artis ahead. He's a couple of spaces ahead. He needs to gain about a second. He needs a mistake from Artis here. Artis or Beta Toast needs to crash for Flanco to survive, and it looks like it's not right going to happen. Right at the end, Artis needs to be taking pretty safe. safe finish. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, Flanco actually made a mistake, I think, uh, or he, maybe he also went safe finish at some stage. As um... Goliath racing it out, going for the dangerous finish, going for the bug nose to end on style, uh, and unfortunately it. doesn't manage oh, to do it. Oh, you missed it! it. I believe it again. It Thirty-three seconds. Third time's the charm. I believe. I believe it. Fourth time's it's the charm. <laughs> get it. No. Okay. Oh, come on. You need to anger your car more to the right. <laughs> no, 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 more to the right. That's the tree. More to the right. You need to. Yeah, anger he's car going way to too right. wide on the left. For this he knows. One. Oh, could be. Yeah. It. He did it. He's the goat. Dahlia. We respect the people's winner. We respect it. The the people's winner. Okay. He's the people's winner. I'll I'll give it to him. If this was ultimate, he would win a thousand euro for that. Um, Telne, Artis, Marius, and Flo all in the danger zone. This is what we're starting to see now. Every danger zone is just brutal. It's cutthroat. It is not a place you want to end up. And unfortunately for these four players, that's exactly where they are. Artis for the second time in a row. Marius currently at the back of the danger zone in 10th place. That is currently the last place you can be in. He's kind of battling it out. He's pulled up into 8th, I think, a little bit. Um, but yeah, not having a good round on a round where he needs to do very well. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, Marius and Artis here. Going to have to prey on some mistakes. I mean, actually, Marius is right in the, the mix here. They're, they're all kind of... I think I just saw Telne eliminate himself. No, Flo? Someone did. Someone drove very hard into a pole. It was Flo, I think. As uh, Now Flo and Artis find their, themselves in, in, in trouble uh, as they look for both players ahead of them now uh, to hopefully make a mistake because it's about a second and I don't know... Second gate, that's going to be probably the end of flow here, unless it's a catastrophic error from uh, Telne and Marius, as they both seem to have the speed to go the fast route. Telne up there with Skandir. Is he going to get into the finish? He is, and Marius as well. So that'll be Artis and Flo out in 10th and 9th. 
I think. Yeah, uh, must be ninth um, because they get eliminated. Yeah. Yeah, tenth and or sorry, is that sixth and ninth? I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, tenth and ninth. Pretty rough danger zone. Um, and the next one uh, nearly had Scandir in there. If it was a four-person danger zone, we would have Scandir in there. But we are down now to our two-person danger zones. So it's just Vortex and Bayron battling it out to see who will get to carry forward into the next round. Vortex taking an early lead, but not too much of one. Uh, Bayron still could catch Vortex with some nice speed and some nice lines through this map. And of course, mm -hmm. a mistake from Vortex would make that a lot easier for Bayron as well. Mm. We're now in the funniest situation possible for the danger zone. Do you know what that is? Uh, no, where you, explain it Where you me. come second. But the person who's also in the danger zone with you comes first. As Bayron has yeah, eliminated. Yeah, uh, unfortunately... Not fucking yeah, happen, we've seen that little still. crash there from Bayron. Bayron's yeah. not gonna get that this round. No, I, it is the funniest possible scenario, though, where... Yeah, you'll you have... do look better than anyone else who's racing, but unfortunately yes. in the last round they will beat but, you, so you're still you... gone. Scott near the danger zone with you and you absolutely cuck out your mind and you toggle on opponents and he's three seconds up the road. <laughs> As, uh, yeah, yeah, unfortunately. We're, yeah, we're just now in that uh, point where if you do on. see a name like Scandier in the danger zone, you are in big, big trouble. Mm -hmm. Now, Beta Toast missed the finish, but it's not going to matter. Uh, because he was going to go into the danger zone anyway, because he was, he was finishing sixth, but now he finishes ninth, eighth, and he... Uh, he finds himself in the danger zone for the fifth time. Both players for the fifth time. Well, look, one of the prophecies is going to come true. true. Fifth time in the danger zone, and they're going to survive. One they have to. Will come true. Unless they both DNF. Please don't both DNF. <laughs> that would be the worst case scenario. They could probably. both. What if everyone DNFs except Skandir right now? I just say, you know what, Skandir? You take it. You can have this you one. You take it. You, 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 you got this one as a. Yeah, Beta Toast versus Vortex. This will be a close round. Beta Toast has had good pace. Good pace so far on the map. He does have a 110. I think he has a 110.8 or 0.7. He was in between that gap between the 0.6 and the 0.9. Unless he's PB'd previously. Um, Vortex hasn't had the, the overwhelming pace, but he survived till this point. Alright, so he must be doing something right. Right now, he needs to do a little he's, bit he's more than something. he's currently. He needs to do a little bit more than he's currently. Yeah, Once again, Beta Toast right just... In that second place. Mm -hmm. Showing uh, the heartbreak of this format. Right second place, yeah, you know, um, you're in the danger zone, and the other person in the danger zone drives second in the round, and you're just like, well, that's yeah. uh, <laughs> that's nice. I mean, even uh, even Vortex, Vortex is riding sixth in the round, um, sixth out of sixth, so it's it's not that great. Um, really kind of hoping for a mistake from Beta Toast right now if he wants to recover. Beta Toast, in fact, seems to be taking the number one position in this race. So With not the, the mistake that Vortex wanted to see. With a 110. Um, very close to the oh 111. Didn't get there, but still. Um, look at Scandier our, um, going into the danger zone in seventh place. Look at our um, danger zone individuals for this round. Yannick yeah, and Scandier. Uh, the two we thought could be fighting it out to win this thing. Have yeah, so that is not going to be the final the anyway. Zone. This oh, is a really please. interesting sure danger zone as well, because normally if you're in the danger zone with Scandir, you're very worried. I feel like Yannix is one of the few people who can be in a two-person danger zone with Scandir and maybe actually have a chance of eliminating him. Scandir is currently pulling ahead, but Yannix is right on his tail. Um, I really yeah, hope This could be a finals matchup happening in the like fourth last round. Yeah, I hope we get a uh, first and second here, where, where one of them's first and the other one's second, and unfortunately... You know, the person today that with you has somehow come first. As uh, they have different lines for the book side, Scandir setting up slightly wider for more speed. But yeah, neck that. and neck here. Yannix is racing out of his mind, getting some really nice recoveries on Scandir. Uh, Scandir is currently the one who needs to pick up some time if he wants to beat Yannix. Yannix is doing a good job. Scandir is carrying a little bit more speed through. He is not letting that gap widen anymore. But Yannix is still just pushing ahead. This is a very tight race. Yandir, Yandir and Scan X, Scandir and Yannix, they're both well pulled ahead of the pack. One person is going to finish in second place and be eliminated by the looks of things. Scandir pulling ahead as we get closer to the end of the race. This could be a real heartbreaker for Yannix. Ice is pulling ahead as well. Yannix is kind of getting to the point where he needs Scandir to pull a mistake if he's going to make it. Scandir lagged and he jumps into the finish and would we got the funniest thing possible. Oh. Where Gandir drove, Danger Zone people, and first and second. 
That is heartbreaking um, for Yannick. You've beaten... That is heartbreaking. He was so close to having him as well. Uh, Scanix nearly made it, but unfortunately, Yandir will be carrying through into the next round. <laughs> Yandir um, will be going through. And uh, now we got Telme and Marius in that danger zone. So it's another pretty competitive one as well. Telmeir has been getting some of our best times this evening. Marius has been doing very well too. Um, unfortunately, uh, one of them's not going to make it into the next round. Um, Telme looks to be taking the lead right now. But as we saw in the last round where Yannick kind of carried ahead for most of it, Marius could pull through at the last minute and take the round for himself. Yeah, very true. And Marius, of course, you know, we all know Marius. Marius will not crash. So you fancy if Telne is to make any sort of mistake here, Marius will win the round. Because this, this is what Marius does. He just doesn't ever crash. Mr. Safety. Mr. The, the Safe Meister himself. The Safe Meister. Uh, yeah, that's, he's driving that's a nickname. I knew it was something safe. like that. <laughs> he's perhaps driving a little bit too safe right now, but once again, all it takes yeah. is for one mistake from Telne. One little clip, one little wrong line, missing the jump up here and having to go the safe route. If he clips, it doesn't look like it's happening. Um, no, hitting a tree. We're sort of getting to the point now where even if there is a mistake from uh, from Telme, oh, no. Marius wants a little bit more speed to punish it. Unfortunately, yes, that finished. mistake never manifested anyway. Marius is going to be out as we come down into our top four for this four. evening: Scandir, Ice, Beta Toast, and Telme. Um, I'm pretty sure this basically matches the top four that we have over on the map records right now. Telne in the danger zone for the second time in a row, but when there's this few players left, that's not necessarily a sign that you are a bad player. And um, Telne has been doing an incredible job. Not a name I feel like I've ever seen before in Mini RPG of the Week. Um, if I have, certainly not performing this well. And he is currently managing to outpo uh, outpace um, Beta Toast and may be able to carry that through. <sighs> Yeah, Unfortunately, exactly. Caster's curse strikes, and it yeah. looks like that's going to be very tough to recover from. So we have Ice, who has eliminated himself and put himself in the danger zone for the next round. But look at these guys in the danger zone together, just separated by two hundred three thousandths of a second as they go through the CP before the jump across to the grass. Can I? Okay. Well, that was shaping up to be quite exciting, and he's ruined it. <laughs> Listen. Sometimes That's it happens, okay. I was going to hype that up so well. Um, you know what, I'll, I'll let you handle the final now. Right? You can hype that one up. Um, <laughs> I already got to do most of Scandier versus Yannex. You can have the final, it's fine. It's not even the final, there's one more round. There's one more round. How many people? Uh, Scandier, Scandier we're, gets we're first here, scuffed. which means that Scandier, Scandier is safe into the final. Scandier does not have to worry. Beta Toast and Ice are currently battling it out to go into that final with Scandir. Um, who are you backing, OC? Who do you think is going to take it, Ice or Beta Toast? Funny enough, I think it's going to be an Ice and Beta Toast. Wait, no, Scandir isn't in the danger zone. Scandir is safe. He is into that final. Yeah. I think it's going to. I, I think we're. Uh, oh, thank yes. you, BITM, thank for you the raids. Uh, yeah, um, thanks, Badster. We pay attention to Appreciate chat here, guys. We're talking about chat. <laughs> well, 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 uh, anyway, uh, I think Ice. I think we'll see Ice be eliminated and Beta Toast uh, in the final. Beta Toast is it the backflip goat looks that from way. Uh, yeah. Turk Turkmenia Rook Up. He is the goat of backflip. Although there's no backflips on this map, it was an RPG. No, it wasn't. Uh, I don't, whatever. Uh, I think we'll see. We'll see. But I'm, they're giving us a pretty close round now. Do, do you want to take this one away as they go into the end? Yeah, I mean, it looks like Beta Toast is keeping a hold on his lead, but it is ever so close. Um, even if Beta Toast is going to carry this one forward, Ice is not letting that pressure up at all. He has pulled into first place now, um, making that gap a little bit wider. Both of them also have to keep in mind that Scandir is still on the track, and that even if they win this round, they need to beat him, so they can kind of see this round as a practice run. Beta Toast nearly pulling ahead at the ice, the end, but Ice manages to keep that pace up and pull in um, with, what was that, like 0.7 seconds ahead of Beta Toast. So very close at the end, but Ice will be moving into our final versus oh, Scandir. Look at that. Final round, Ice TM versus Scandir. Uh, for anyone who missed it there, Scandir drove a world record. He drove a 1103 in that last round. So really setting down a marker, like you've survived the last danger zone round. You really think you're going to come and beat me? Look what I can do. Let's see if Scandir can keep it up for this round. All it takes is one mistake now. 
this, you know, this is, you've had chances in the past, but this is nothing. You get no second chance here. You get nothing. You are in the danger zone with the last player alive, and it's a full-out race to who can win it in the end. Scandier has got himself off to a cracking start here. He is one-tenth ahead of ice as they go through the pole and across the ice. I thought Scandier was going to clip the ramp there as he navigates that nicely, jumps around. Oh, no, Scandier! Scandier, it, it looked like he hit a bit of a lag spike and then he managed to drop off. Ice, if he could not make another mistake, he can carry this through to a victory. He'll be fine. Scandier um, do next. It's done. Ice Scandier's is done. done. Ice has carried Scandier. it through. Yeah, congratulations to he Ice. Just, it's a heartbreaking for he Scandier because Scandier had a similar mistake and uh, in last week's run, he was up against Hazard. He made one mistake and unfortunately didn't make it through. So that's two weeks in a row where Scandier has sort of comfortably carried through to the final Wait. and then had that one mistake and been beaten. Congratulations to Ice. He did a 311 He did a 311 Wow. Wait, no, he didn't. Wait, what's going on there? Oh. Okay, something's happened with the graphic. Something's <laughs> happened. <laughs> I have no idea what's happened with the graphic, but congratulations to Ice for winning Season 4, Episode 19 of Mini RPG of the Week. Uh, um, my camera, listen, I'm still in the void. This has been the technically perfect stream. I don't know what's going on. I'm I don't know if I'm going to come back, but I'm here in spirit and in voice, and that's what really matters, okay? That is um, you can imagine that, uh... I look like whatever you want, and you'll probably end up with a better image than what you would see if I was actually here. Um, congratulations to Ice, congratulations to all of our casters this evening. I'm back. Here we go. Um, for, for the harsh reality <laughs> can then be seen. Um, yeah, really close race. Um, a lot of really exciting matches, a lot of really exciting danger zones. Um, thank you very much to Dobri, who was our mapper for the night. Um, yeah, really fun map. Dobri kind of set it themselves in the map description. Not a lot of tricks, but it all kind of came down to lines and to landings. And in the end, that created some really kind of skill-based high-tension matches. Yeah. Super good, super good. Everyone, do not forget, in chat right now, May 11 at... <laughs> May 11 and 12th in France. in France. Mini RPG of the Week Ultimate. Tickets, if you go to the Mini RPG of the Week Twitter, you'll find everything there that you need to know. It is a LAN in France with RPGs. Everyone loves RPGs. Everyone loves lands. There's money involved. A thousand euro grand prize. Yeah. Uh, so make and sure you... And they're not just any RPGs. They're mint ones as well, you know? That one thousand euro uh, is up for grabs. We have seen tonight, it might not necessarily be going straight to Scandir. So that's yeah. why you want to be there. We, we, we started out saying Scandir was nailed on to win. And look, we got to the, he got to the final, but he, he just fell short and uh, got one of those lines that Dobry was talking about wrong. And... Au revoir. That was it. So, um, that yeah, was so, it, so thanks guys for joining us. I have been 16th Tower. With me has been OC. Um, we're going to hit the road. Thank you for watching. See ya. Bye.